the New York Jets. <laughs> The New York Jets. So I was just a random number that came into my head. The New York Jets, although it's 175 now. Woody Johnson, here he is talking about the ongoing efforts to trade the failed number two overall pick in the 2021 draft. Zach Wilson. You know, last year would have been a great, he would have been a first time he could just sit back and, and, and watch a master at work, right? Mm -hmm. And he's never had that. He's been in the fire from day one. And I think that's what he needs. He needs to... He needs to be in a place where he can uh, he can observe for a while, and uh, he's got the skill. He can do everything. There's a reason we drafted him at number two overall, and uh, I, I have confidence that he'll get there at some point. You know, if we don't trade him, we're we're going to keep him. So it's possible that he could that he could do it here. You know, I'm told that Woody Johnson is the main impediment to getting a deal done, that the Jets have offers on the table, at least offers previously were on the table, and Woody has said no. Woody crapped on this guy at the NFL Honors in February. He said we need a backup quarterback because we didn't have one last year. It is hard to walk back from that to the posture he's now in. And I'm told it's all Woody as the barrier. And, Chris, this is what becomes the problem in the future. We talked about it yesterday with Deion Sanders and Shadour Sanders and Travis Hunter. The next time the Jets are taking a quarterback top of the draft, maybe that guy's going to say, you know, I saw what you did to Zach Wilson. I'm not interested in being part of your team. If, if this doesn't work and you're going to make it hard for me to move on with my career, I don't want to play for you. Yeah, I mean, listen, it, it, you're right. I hear you there. Now, they got their backup quarterback in Tyrod Taylor. That's where maybe it's changed a little bit. Right. And Woody's eyes to go, wait, he, I doesn't, he can just be the third and he can sit back and watch. And I know to, to his point there, that's what everybody in New York wanted for Zach Wilson last year. They definitely didn't want him or expect him to be thrown into the fire on the fifth play of the season. Definitely. And I don't know, you know, what the impediment. First off, I, I have it hard to believe. I find it hard to believe again. I mean, Justin Fields just got traded for a sixth round pick. I mean, so what, what Zach Wilson's going to get better than that or something equal to that? I have a hard time believing that. But I also know there are people in that Jets organization where they're still like Zach Wilson, his physical ability, right? I know Aaron Rodgers has told people like I've never seen Zach Wilson throws the ball as good as anybody he's ever seen. I know he's told people that. So maybe that's what Woody's holding on to and where he's just a little scared to let him go that he might come become something one day. I don't know, but it just seems like, yeah, Zach needs a new spot and needs to go somewhere else altogether, and they just need to let him go. Well, he'll definitely go somewhere else next year because his contract that's will expire. Right. They yeah. owe him $5.5 million fully guaranteed this year. If they cut him, they would get credit for about $1 million if he signs somewhere. Yeah. Uh, for the minimum for someone of his level of service. But, hey, as it stands, if Woody's telling the truth, they're willing to go with three quarterbacks on the active roster, Aaron Rodgers, Tyrod Taylor, and Zach Wilson, even though they've made it clear that they're ready to move on and they're ready to trade him. They just don't want to get stuck releasing him and still paying the bulk of his salary for 2024. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.